can you all believe that it's already December? Like, that's crazy. A whole year has passed by, basically. Like, we just have, what, 28 days before, 29 days, 28 days before the year's over. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha, and if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe down below. Like, subscribe, like right now because why watch my videos and not be subscribed you know and make sure you hit that bell right beside the subscribe button so you can get notifications as soon as i upload videos today what we're going to be doing is another sneaker talk video but before i get into that first off happy december like today is december 2nd well technically december 2nd because it's like I'm not even 5 a.m. So happy first of the month. Basically, the month is just starting. This is the last month of the year. And among other things, we have to talk about some shoes. We have to talk about all the sneaker releases coming out this month because this is a jam-packed month. So just to dive right into the sneaker talk, I always start off with what I picked up the last month. So we have a Jordan box. I know I said I'm kind of over Jordan brand, which I am just because I don't feel like I get the same quality shoes as men, men get. And I mean, I understand the price point is different. I get all of it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, hey, if I'm going to buy a shoe, I should be getting a quality shoe. I should be getting quality materials. And I mean, they have gotten better. I'm, I'm not going to even say they haven't, but on a lot of things, they are lacking. But without further ado... Let me just show the box size. This is a six shoe in the Air Jordan 11 Retro. This says white, university blue, Carolina blue. And that's just basically how the box looks right here. They retail for, yeah, they retail for 170 Like, really? Really, Jordan? Like, $170 basically. Almost $200. For a grade school kid size shoe. Y'all, it's just doing too much. Doing way too much. This is what we have. These are the Win Like 82 Air Jordan 11s. And this is like, this is a shoe you take out the box and you have to be like, okay, nothing's on my hand because it's like, if you get a pair of 11, this mesh right here, it is very hard to clean. So I'm just like, Making sure like nothing's on my hand, no residue, no nothing because yeah, you gotta be careful with your shoes. But anywho, I like the shoe. I'm just gonna give more of a detailed look at it right now. This the this is the Carolina Blue Jumpman right there. 23 on the back. The icy translucent sole right here. Of course, this is probably like it's probably not carbon fiber. I don't know what they make the gray school pairs of shoes out of i'm very happy with this pickup i will say that about the shoe but and that's the only shoe i have to show for this month's video um depending on how this month goes and how i really feel about certain shoes you may see me reach back and grab some stuff you may see me grab some stuff in the month of december you i just really don't know myself i'm an on a whim type of person i see something i like it or i decide like oh i want this now so that's just how I now for this sneaker talk video we're really going to be talking strictly about releases and everything coming up for the month of december which is this month right now that we are in The first shoe we're going to talk about, these shoes actually released today and a picture will pop up somewhere in this video. And these are the UNC Air Jordan 6s. They are black and what, the Carolina blue color. It's hard to me, I'm not going to grab them just because... I have a good amount of sixes. It's not nothing that I really just have to have. 
Um, as far as the Carolina blue shoes, I have shoes. They color. I have like two or three pairs of shoes that's that color or that has that color in it. Um, but I think they're a pretty decent shoe. I feel like if you really are into the Carolina blues, the University blues, all that stuff, then I definitely think you should probably grab them. I mean, color. It's an OG colorway, so I'm really big on grabbing OG colorways. But I mean, it's gonna sit more than likely, especially in my size. It's gonna pretty much sit. Next, going right along with that, you have the. <coughs> You have the Italy Blue thir Jordan 13. I'm not sure if this is a... I think this is a GS only release, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. But, um, I think they're pretty decent. I think they're pretty dope. Um, as far as me, because I am not really into, like, the blue color and all that stuff, it's kind of like gonna be enough for me on to the next shoe which is, i feel like it's a really hyped up shoe but it has a reason to have hype like you know certain things are overly hyped and you're like what it, why are y'all even hyping this this is not even this is ugly i wouldn't even wear this but these are some shoes that i feel like are hyped up but i will wear them and but do i want to grab them not necessarily and these are the win like 96 Jordan 11 so yeah the ones i got were the win like 82 So it's like a couple things I will change with the shoe that really would make it like just for me. I would make the mesh of the shoe white and I would make the bottom red. And then I would be like, yes, this is a dope shoe. They wouldn't have all the top red of the shoe that should have the bottom of the shoe red. And I just think that would have set it off. Like, I, I like the icy blue sole. I am a fan of it on 11s, but for this particular pair i just feel like they should have just went red and it would have had a win i think this is probably like the most some of the most anticipated shoes for december and the first i'm going to talk about is the like mike air jordan sixes or the gatorade sixes these are basically the carmine sixes or the coral sixes which i do own both of those that's basically what it is but it's orange i'm really interested to see how that how that looks in person because if you say like gatorade you know like the get the symbol the gatorade symbol you think like bright orange but it's not really bright to me and then of course it has the um it has like green accents on the shoe which makes it like the gatorade or like mike sixes i'm not even sure because when they first showed pictures of these, everybody was calling them the Gatorade Sixes. Then all of a sudden, they became the Like Mike Sixes when the other Gatorade, the actual Gatorade Sixes, the NRG Sixes, which is what I'm going to talk about next. When those pictures surfaced, then these became the Like Mike Sixes. So I'm just kind of like, do you call both of them the, George, the Gatorade Sixes? Or do you call one of them Like Mike? Or do you call one of them NRG Gatorade? Like NRG Gatorades and NRG basically from what I've gathered from it it kind of is like the energy behind the shoe um, and it basically means that it's going to be more of a limited release that's what I'm assuming with NRG if someone knows the exact exactly what I'm what it is then let me know but um well yeah what I'm gathering is just basically means that it's it's going to be way harder to get it's more exclusive it's Kind of along the lines of Quick Strike, but I think it's not going to be as limited as a Quick Strike release. I don't think it will be. Okay, I do love those. I, I think they're green and orange. I think that is so dope. Like, I would love to get my hands on those shoes. Yeah, do I have um, do I have high hopes? Talk about really. these L's. All the L's we took. I know that I took. And these were unexpected L's for me. Because I wasn't even going to try to cop none of this stuff. But the last minute I decided. Oh I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to try with this sneakers app. Even though the sneakers app is so garbage. Like it's so garbage. But that's neither here nor there. But it kind of is here. Um, nonetheless I'm talking about the off-white releases. And with those. It was so many. It was so many that released on one day. I was just kind of like. For one, that's not a good sign. You got like six to seven pairs of shoes releasing all in one day. Like the hype beast is going to be real. It's so real out here for all these hype beasts and these people that have these bots that control basically the internet. And no matter how much, oh, we have the sneakers app. So that means that we're going to cut out all the bots. We're going to cut out, like everybody's going to be able to get their pair easy. And all you have to do is 
add it to your car, have your payment information on file, and you're good to go. Like, that's so unrealistic. And it wasn't even really like a big, huge L for me because I expected it. Like, and you're talking about, especially with the Off-White, especially with the Jordans, because I was going for the Jordans, and I was going for the Air Max 97s. The Prestos was, were dope. Really, all the shoes were dope, but as far as what I was going for... I was going for the Jordans and I was going for the MX 97s. So, like that's what I was going for. But with 97s with me, I got them. At, I was able to add them to my cart. And this is how the app kind of works. Unless you get in line, add it, it well. Unless you add it to your cart and then basically you're in line and they will notify you if you got the shoe and if it's able to add to cart. If it's able to add to cart, then you're good to go. So I add them to my cart and basically I had in my mind, well, that's, that money is going to be pulled out of my account. But of course I got hit with the flex and they was just like, oh, unfortunately your size is sold. Yeah, try for another size. How I'm going to try for another size if my size sold out? Like what, what I'm trying for? What, what I'm going to go get a, a size 10 or something? Just be, just because say, oh, I copped them? Like, or, I mean, I guess resale, so that too, but I I don't really, I'm not really trying to get in that game or that basket of reselling shoes. It's not my thing. Just because I'm so, I'm so against people char charging double for shoes and asking for these outrageous prices for shoes that I just, in me, I just probably could never do it. Like, I could never sell a shoe to somebody for like triple the the value that I pay for it, it's just not in me. Let's go to the Jordan, their Jordan ones. Like here, out of here, and you 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 don't even get a chance to play. Like you can't even get up to bat the ball. Like that's basically what it was for me. Like I clicked on there as soon as because I think those were released at what two o'clock. I was on the app waiting for it to say available, so I kept going back and forth between different pages, making sure that I kept my app active, so it wouldn't be no issue for me. Or so I thought. So as soon as I get on there, all the sizes, like the smallest, all of those are just, it, don't, it doesn't even have those available. Like, I couldn't even click those, add them to my car if I wanted to. They had like sizes. I think if I still have this screenshot in my phone, I may have deleted it because I was just like, I'm so over this BS. But if I do have it in my phone, I will show you all the proof that these shoes were not even available on there. When I tried to add them to my car. So I'm just like. Yeah y'all got some funny business going on. And I'm so not for it. Like it's no way these shoes sold out. In what? 0.5 seconds. Like they sold out in 0.5 seconds. They sold out in 0.2 seconds. They sold out in 0 seconds. Like for real. For real. Y'all wouldn't, wouldn't believe it. They sold out in 0 seconds. Okay yeah we'll go with that. But nonetheless I'm just like y'all really tried it but I was just on Twitter because Twitter like when stuff releases Twitter is hilarious to be on because people were on there like going in on Nike and the sneakers app and I'm just like y'all y'all really thought y'all was gonna get these huh like I don't even know anybody really well I, I know like one or two people that actually got them that I can say I personally know they actually got them from the sneakers app but other than that like I know pretty much everybody took L's on that day. The people that were lucky enough to get them, then I'm happy for you. Not really. I'm still salty. Like, I'm salty. I mean, I didn't get them. But it is what it is. Like, on to the next one. It's all about winning out here. Also, something else that released the gold, the gold top threes. Um, I did like this shoe, but... All patent and stuff, I was just kind of like, uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, I like patent leather, I do, I like patent leather on shoes, but as far as patent leather on Jordan ones, I'm not really feeling it. But they go, they go white and black though, like, I like those. I can't even stand to be like, oh no, I'm gonna go get them. Like, if I could, if I could have got them, I would have got them, but they were like a limited release as well. But in memory of it, let's talk about something I have here in. They have like in my Holy Grail collection. And these are basically the Air Jordan 1 top threes they released last Cyber Monday. And these are in the six six half. These are in the six half. That's how they look. And I 
just decided to pull these out just because no I didn't get the gold top threes but I got some top threes in my collection so these are pretty much what I would call the end yes I think that's very near dead stock so because these have been worn one time legit one time and they've been put back in the box and they've been on ice ever since because I guess before I don't really rock my shoes that often so yeah but that's how the shoe looks if you see you can't just show one of them like you just can't you can't just show one you gotta go you gotta show the other one and that's how the other one looks together with the rust pink jordan ones and the igloo ones i think those are like only what miami exclusives i'm just they're not coming out in grade school anyway so i can't get them anyway so hey whatever oh and before i end this video all of these gatorade join ones that are coming out you have the orange ones you have the blue ones purple ones and you have the neon ones i think all of those are dope i actually watched a couple videos of people that got like early pairs or people that already have them and i'm just like that is a nice quality shoe like the leather of it like the shoe, everything about it just looks like it's high quality. The box, the box head comes with a Gatorade towel. And shoe if you are able to get your hands on this shoe grab them. also the concepts the um the concept in a nike sb collab the ugly sweater nike dunks i was like some years ago i would have been all over this shoe i told y'all like my love for dunks but i always like the sb dunks over dunk regular dunks anyway so i definitely do think that it's so creative and i love when they come out with these ugly sweater or just christmas inspired shoes like i'm really excited about those but i think i have talked enough for this video so like i said before i'm gonna leave a picture you all leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the upcoming sneaker releases for this year let me know what you're grabbing well let me know what you grabbed last month and yeah so i shall see you all if not before the month ends i shall see you all next year in january another sneaker talk video but and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in my next video. And I gotta put this back in my closet. Like, let me go put these back up in the closet.